These two transducers are the ones that we're going to use in this lab. We've got two types here. We've got a thermocouple, which is this tiny little joint here between two pieces of wire made out of different metals. We're not sure what type of thermocouple this is. It could be a type K or a J or an E or a T. And you can find out more about those from your textbook or from looking up the Omega website uh, through D2L. Different metals give different potentials from the thermocouple. So if, for example, this was a type J thermocouple, we'd expect to see with the reference junction at zero degrees Celsius, no voltage if the bead was at zero degrees Celsius, or about a millivolt if the bead was at 20 degrees Celsius, or a little over five millivolts if the bead was at 100 degrees Celsius. The key thing here is it's the temperature of the bead that determines what the voltage is that we'll see on those two wires there. So it's not the temperature of the air around the bead, it's the temperature of the actual junction, the temperature of the actual transducer. So before it can register the air temperature, or the water temperature, or the temperature of my finger, it has to actually get to that temperature. And that takes some time, and that's something we're going to explore in this lab. That little bead there, maybe if I hold it up a little closer, it's still pretty tiny. It's very small, it doesn't have very much mass, so it doesn't take very much energy to heat it up and it will reach its new temperature quite quickly. The other transducer we're going to use is one of these TMP36 uh, integrated circuit transducers and it's just a little black box encapsulated in plastic and inside there is a uh, probably a thermistor and some linearization circuitry and the result is that if we apply power to these two leads on the outside, then from the middle lead, we can get a signal that will vary linearly with temperature. So that at zero degrees Celsius, we'll see 500 millivolts, half a volt. 20 degrees Celsius, 700 millivolts, that's 200 millivolts higher. 10 millivolts for every degree Celsius. And at 100 degrees Celsius, we'll see 1500 millivolts one and a half volts. So this one varies linearly. It's got a much higher voltage signal than the thermocouple, but because this black box is considerably bigger, it'll take considerably longer time for the black box and the sensor inside of it to get up to the same temperature as its surroundings. So this TMP36, it'll be slow compared to this thermocouple which will be fast, let's say faster, but still take some time. And one of the things you want to figure out during this lab is how fast is fast, how slow is slow, and what consequences will that have for practical engineering design situations where you might want to use one of these sensors to monitor temperature while you're actively heating something up or cooling something down.